Hey guys, welcome back. Now we show a lot of mid to high end detectors on this channel. And if you like me, you may have some kids or grandkids who are interested in the hobby, but you probably don't want to turn them loose with your $2,500 CTX or even your $250 Simplex. So I've been on the lookout for a detector in the $100 price range that still has decent features and is something they can grow with. I didn't want to go too much cheaper than that because most of the ones around $50 seem like toys to me. Anyway, this one, uh, I don't know much about the brand other than it seems to get pretty good reviews on Amazon, but it seems to have decent features. Uh, it has a pinpoint mode, it has a backlit display, and the model is a MROG 810. So today I thought we'd do an unboxing, do an assembly, maybe do some air test and try it out on some targets in the ground. So stand by and we'll get started. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm just going to lay everything out, then we'll put it together. Looks like they included a little trench shovel. That's a good thing. That'll keep them from asking to borrow mine every five minutes. sure what that is a coal cover maybe and a little plastic rake We put that thing in there good, huh? like this just goes on there with one screw yeah you push it down and slide it forward there's one little screw on the bottom that holds it on there Okay, that's a pretty good size coil for a detector in this price range. Let's see what it is. Looks like maybe 10 inches. Yep, 10 inch coil. Not bad. All right, pretty lightweight machine, good quality feel to it. Not bad. All right, let's let's uh, let's get it set up and do some uh, air tests. 
Okay, I forgot to mention this detector runs off of two 9 volt batteries, which are included. They go right in the back side of the display there. And uh, they also include a pretty nice storage bag with a machine. We'll take a look at that later. But uh, before we get into the air test, let's take a look at the controls and the display. Okay, really quickly we'll go over some of the features and controls. Like I mentioned earlier, it has a 10 inch waterproof coil. It does have a headphone jack on the back side of the uh, display there. And to power it on, we just use this button. Over on the right, we have a depth meter. And over on the left, we have sensitivity. To control the sensitivity, we press the mode button and use the up and down arrows in the middle. We'll keep it down low while we're doing the video. Pressing the mode button again goes to your notch discrimination. Now this detector doesn't have a traditional numeric target ID. What it has is across the top, FE and the numbers two through seven. And right above that, you have labels for a bottle cap, a nickel, a ring, a penny, a dime, a quarter and 50 cents. And you can notch each one of those out using the enter button. If we press the mode button again, we go to our volume control. And again, you use the up and down arrows to control it. Right below that is your pinpoint button. And that's just about it. There's not really much to it. All right, guys, we all know that air tests aren't the same as actual targets in the ground, but I think it'll at least give us an idea. On a detector in this price range, I would expect it to hit coin size targets right around five to six inches. So we'll see how it goes. Today, I've got a barber dime, a barber quarter, a barber half, a Morgan dollar, a buffalo nickel, a 10 carat ring, and a 14 carat ring. Let's start with a barber dime. There's six inches, seven inches, and that's about it. So about seven inches on a silver dime, not too shabby. Next up is the barber quarter. About eight inches or so is the max it'll get on a barber quarter. Next up is a barber half. There's seven. Again, right around seven and a half to eight inches. Next up is a Morgan dollar. Well, that's odd only getting the Morgan dollar out to about six inches. I figured you'd go a little deeper on that one. Next up is a Buffalo nickel. There's six. So consistently right around six and a half inches on the nickel. Next up is a 10 carat ring. There's seven. About seven and a half inches on the 10 carat ring. And next up is a 14 carat ring. Right around six inches on the 14 carat ring. So not too shabby, a little better than what I was expecting. Okay, I've located and marked off a couple of targets with it. Let's see if this thing will actually find something. This one's reading in the uh, penny range. Let's see what it is. And it is a penny, it looks like a zinc penny. So it will find coins. Let's try another target. Okay, next target. That one's reading a little bit higher in the copper penny dime range. Let's see what we got.
So let's send the plug. And there it is. It is a copper penny. That one had a little bit of depth to it, probably four or five inches. Could even be a wheat penny, no? It's just a uh, copper memorial. All right, guys, final thoughts on the Marner 810. We'll start off with the pros, and right off the bat, the number one pro would have to be the price. I think these are going for right around $109 on Amazon right now, and that comes with a shovel and a nice carry bag, so not a bad deal at all. Number two would be the build quality. I was actually surprised at how well this thing's put together. And number three would be the ease of use. It's really easy to operate, and it gives you a decent performance for what it is. The only real con I've found with this detector is that it needs a stand. You probably noticed when I was doing the air test that I had to tape it to this board to make it stand up on its own. Well, that's because there's no stand on the back, and if you don't do that, it's just going to topple over. So to the manufacturer, if you're watching, put us a plastic stand on the back of this. Make it a lot better. Now, who is this for? Obviously, it's for beginners or someone who's on a really tight budget. My grandkids have been using this for about two weeks now, and they absolutely love it. So there you have it, guys. That was the Marner 810. Thanks for watching, happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.